You know, you are not hard to find here. The flowing red hair and the tallest human here. Yeah. How tall are you? Six foot eight. Six foot eight? Yep. Did you play basketball? And no. I, no, you didn't. No, just drive race cars. You know the NBA pays more than Kokomo Speedway, right? Yeah, a lot more, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is fun for me, so. Yeah, I, I, I got you. Did I read where you raced a midget somewhere or at one time? Yeah, I run. Uh, I still do run midgets for Melendon Canyon every once in a while. It okay. just kind of depends on... Uh, you know schedules and then time of the year so i don't get it how do you fit in the midget do they poke holes through the firewall or something or what no it's got different seat bars in it and then uh just we've i mean i've just done it for so long that it just kind of as i've grown we just haven't really worried about it as much as we probably should have um but no i mean i can still get in them all right and uh really they're tight but you know i'm pretty skinny to where that helps me out a lot um but you know it's uh are you taken back by your newfound fame here? I've been reading a lot about you. What do you What do you say? Yeah, I mean it's been kind of weird. I don't, uh, I don't, I just don't really understand why. But you know, I'm it's a lot better than being hated, is what I keep saying. <laughs> so no, I mean I appreciate all the support, and it's uh, pretty humbling. But uh, yeah, I mean at the same time, it is pretty weird for it to just kind of like pop up how it did. But I mean it's awesome at the same time. Sure. So. Does it have something to do with making the A mains for the SmackDown? I mean that that's a that's a pretty stout field. Yeah, I mean, I think that helped, but also just having the open trailer. Everyone seemed to really like the open trailer thing, um, which for me is just kind of like what I have to do, so I don't think much of it. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, it's been really cool. Yeah. Year. Well, you're 20 years old? Yep. 20. What do, you, what do you do back home? Are you working? or? Uh, I work at McAllister's on heavy equipment. I'm a mechanic on them. Really? Yep. You're a mechanic? Yep. Do you set your own race car up? Yeah, I do everything to it. I build the motor. Like build the you whole build car. the motors? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. So you're the engine builder? Yeah. I mean, I'll do everything to it just because that's what makes it where I can afford are you, it. I don't get it. Are you self-taught? I mean, have I mean, you been mentored? I mean, uh, Larry Ebert's helping me with everything, but, you know, I mean, the biggest thing is there's so much stuff online now to where you really can kind of learn anything you need to. Google it uh, on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, it's more in-depth than that, but, you know, just resources of being able to call up pretty much any place and they'll be willing to help you out. Um, so, that, yeah. that, that is truly amazing. Um, what do you got for him tonight? You feel good? or? Yeah, I mean, I, I really want to win. If I don't win, I'll be not, I mean, I'll be a little disappointed if it doesn't happen, honestly. So, um, you know, definitely have to run top three for it to be a good night at this point. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to do the best I can and... Uh, do what we can make happen yeah it's not just the open trailer your truck your tow vehicle overheated a few times on the way right yeah it's that, twice. That, <laughs> you're a great story i mean really the whole open trailer thing is a throwback to yeah. the 1960s i think it's so cool i think you're a great story I, I wish you well if you had your choice in this business what do you want to do where do you want to go i wouldn't win the indy 500 Ooh. that's my goal so <laughs> oh my god you are talking my language now. Yeah. That is that not the most awesome, most famous, coolest race on the earth, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why there, I want to win it. So. There's nothing that rivals the Indy 500. No, for sure. What a great goal. That's so yeah, cool. Well, Thanks right. for your time. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. How much rear stagger will you run here? Um, it really depends on the night. Yeah. But like, I don't know, tonight I'll probably start off around 13. Wow, that much? Yeah. Whoa, okay. I'll run more than that sometimes, but we'll just have to see how it is. You were are, you are fifth quick in practice at DeCoin yesterday? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Oh my god. And, and you had never sat in a Silver Crown car before? Nope. I understand you cut the seat out of your sprint car to get it in your uh, Silver Crown car? Yeah, just I only have one, so. <laughs> so you took, you and your seat went to DeCoin. Yep. You got in a, the car and were fifth in practice overall. Yep. And then it, what, blew up? Yeah, I dropped an intake valve on, uh, what, I think it was number two. I, I can't, I can only imagine the heads you turned yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it was just practice, but uh, it was still kind of cool to, you know, know that I had speed at least there. Yeah, there were 35 cars there, and you were fifth on the board in your first attempt. Yeah. That's amazing.
Trey, you were you were quickest in practice. You got the car where you want it? No, honestly, I thought it was pretty bad. So, really? Um, yeah, I I've changed a lot, and I'm just still kind of working on it. But did you change the right rear shock? No, not the shock, but um, there's pressure inside of the shock, and experimenting with that pressure changes how the shock reacts. And typically, you want to take pressure out throughout the night as it gets slicker. So. I stuck a little bit out of that, stuck the right rear end, went to a five off. Uh, yeah, we'll just, you know, kill an inch of stagger. So we'll see uh, kind of where it ends up at. I got to look at the track, obviously, see what they do to that. But, uh, yeah. Hey, excuse me. This guy is pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you want out of your shocks? Um, just kind of how the car feels. And yeah, it, it's something that really takes time. Just with the same setup, I can only imagine. You yeah, do with them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, these sets of shocks. This is my fourth race on them. Sure, and I've got them figured out in the tacky really well, but in the slick, I've kind of struggled. So, are you calling this slick tonight, Little? Um, it's kind of hard to tell what it'll do. It'll definitely get slick towards the end. That's what this place normally does on a weekly show but not like slick is what every other track in Indiana really gets like. And then it'll um, probably be up top on the cushion, which means you kind of want to keep it stiff where you're not falling over so hard and trying to flip on the cushion. So, you know. Uh, well, well, you won, won your heat. Are you good for the feature or? Yeah, we're just working on it. Uh, I read your fourth, so it's our fourth. Um, so I'll just hopefully win it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, just working on the car and as good as I can, obviously, to try to win this thing. It's a tough field here. It really yeah. is. Well, it's just a lot of all the good local guys are here on the CJ Larry show now. So, yeah, um, yeah. You know, obviously, he's really good. So. Yeah, you'll have your hands full for no, sure. For sure. Yeah. Thanks, man. Ready for your feature, sprint car A main.
really. Sure if you trusted it after the wall. Yeah, I mean, I did. Um, just, I mean, that was uh, big, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, the fact that you only lost two positions on that was yeah. incredible. That's incredible. I almost thought the McCain got in the wall. I mean, like, I, I honestly kind of thought I was going over. But. You only gave it 30 seconds to find out if everything's right. By the time you got to turn one, you were gone. Yeah. I mean, I could kind of like kick it down the front stretch and feel it out of the ladder, so. We didn't know if it was shot, but it looked like it was tight and one and two. Well, I was having to run it so tight, it's like, I don't know, they have so much more drive in weird places, but I don't. So. Like where? Like just like in the cushion, they don't have to pound it so hard to, for it to work. Like I have to really get into it at the same speed they do. They can just kind of Yeah, they can like lean on it. And it's, it's not even a cushion, it's like a freaking ball right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know, I really needed to be on the 4 off, not a 5 off. That would have helped. It's kind of like bubbling that, so. Yeah, I don't know what the new shot is. Yeah, and I mean, I figured out, like towards the end, I just messed with it a bunch and I was able to get it okay on the bottom. But it was just like, yeah, I think you had to be bottom all the way around or top all the way around. I don't know if that's what it looked like. But it was like off of two, the only place that those guys on the bottom were really getting me, once I could tell, was, you know, they're on the bottom and one and two to where they could go lower on the straightaway and get that moisture. And I couldn't get that. So, yeah, and it's like I can't soften up the rear end so much for the bottom and three and four because then I wreck in one and two. Yeah, exactly. You know, on the cushion. So. Yeah, I mean, I the ladder's free. Everything looks straight. Obviously, I have to look it over. I haven't really looked at the front end, but... Even like Gas City, when I was like plowing into the fence or um, repairing whenever I'm plowing into the fence, it's not like, the cushion is not that stiff. Yeah. And it's a completely different thing that I've got to well, learn. Here, this is, it's yeah. a different animal. Yeah, it's so so hard to run good here. But. What do you think, are 100 more short here compared to some of them big boys? It doesn't really matter in the feature, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mean. But it was like once I got back there, I was so desperate to try to make stuff up, and I just made mistakes. But yeah, just one to win. So gotta make mistakes and try to just sit and ride. Yeah, I mean, plus I knew I was just gonna get it was like pretty much slid or get slid. So. Yeah, it was, especially at the end. I know, and it was like, all right, I guess let's pull the bleeders. And I'll, I want to check stagger. Yeah, live and learn. <laughs>